Hey guys, it's your girl Goldie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know that I've been gone. I know that I have been MIA, but it's just been a lot going on. And I told myself I'm gonna start being dedicated to YouTube because I'm so close to reaching my goals here on YouTube and I gotta stop slacking. So I pre-filmed four videos for you guys. So that'll last for about the rest of the month. So you guys will definitely be having some videos coming up very, very soon. And I'm super, 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 super excited. Today's video, however, is one of the most highly requested videos that I've probably had on my channel since I've started. You guys, it's been crazy. My Instagram has grown so much because of my hair and not just my hair, but my hair color to be exact. You guys are always DMing me, always under my comments asking me, how did you get your hair that color? How many times did you dye your hair to get that color? What tone did you use to get that color? And y'all, my keyboard has been saving the answers to reply to you guys. That's how much I answer the questions. So I was like, you know what? We're just gonna put it all in one video. I'm gonna answer all of you guys' questions. And hopefully by the end of this video, you guys will know exactly what I did, how I touch it up, all of that good stuff. Cause y'all, this color is a lot of maintenance. Even right now, it's not even the color that it's supposed to be because it's a lot of maintenance. So first things first, how I got my hair color is by using a toner. So if you guys don't know what a toner is, it basically deposits color that cancels out the yellow tones in your hair. So for me, I want my hair to be platinum slash like icy, I call it like icy white, but it, it sometimes it's like white white but then sometimes it's like ash blonde white you know what i'm saying so it kind of fluctuates between the two but the toner that i used was wella lightest ash blonde toner and the first time that i did it i also mixed it with t14 and t11 but to touch it up i've just been using t18 the next question that i get the most is how many times did i have to lift my hair to get my hair this color so that question i always find it super super hard to answer because like it's been over the course of 11 months now as you guys who are not new to my channel know i started my hair out dyed to like this brownish sort of color. And then three months into my log journey, I bleached it and got my original Goldilocks blonde color, which is the color that I started my YouTube channel, my Instagram, all of that with. Then I went ginger, right? And then I didn't want the ginger no more, so then I had to bleach it again. And then it was pink, so then I had to bleach it again. And then I was able to tone it. So about three to four times within the span of nine and ten, nine to ten months um, to get this color. So it's definitely not something that I did all in one session. I would definitely not recommend that. And also, you guys, a lot of people ask me how I get this color and then they do it. And then they're like, oh my God, I messed my hair up. And that's just because everyone's hair is different. I always say stick with what you know your hair can take. Like my hair is really, really strong. I can lift my hair to a really high level and it not be damaged. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course it's gonna have some damage to it. Like it's bleach. But what I mean is my hair's not gonna be falling apart. My hair's not gonna be shedding every 10 seconds. So it really just depends on your hair. Do not lift your hair super light. If your hair can't take it, go little by little, see how much your hair can take and don't bleach your hair four times all in one session. Do not do that. The next question that you guys ask me all the time is how I keep my hair moisturized. And my moisture routine, it has changed a little bit, but not too, too much. So I still use my aloe vera water mixed with my oils to spray my hair daily, okay? My hair is damp right now from spraying my hair with it. And then I also deep condition every week. Every single week I deep condition my hair and I do a hot oil treatment every two weeks. Moisture is super duper important, especially with locks. And then bleach locks at that, you need to keep your hair moisturized. So if you are not disciplined enough to have a moisture routine and stick with it, I do not recommend bleaching your hair this light because you guys, you're going to need to moisturize your hair like crazy. Now, the next question that I get asked, and I have some visuals for you guys for this part because I touched on my hair and I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and record so y'all can see what I do. All right, so the first thing that I do is I take the toner, and like I said, I use T18, and I take the developer that comes, well, it doesn't come with it, but the recommended developer that's on the back of the bottle, um, and I mix it up. And I like to use two um, bottles of the T18 because you wanna be saturated, you know what I'm saying? Even then, sometimes it's not enough. I really will go for three next time, but that's besides the point. So basically, what you do is you mix it all together, and it kind of has like this like weird consistency to me, but you know, it's, it's not that bad. You literally just want to apply it to your hair. And the thing about using toner is that it's gonna turn your hair purple. It's not gonna turn your hair purple, but your hair is gonna look really, really purple and you're gonna get scared. And a lot of people make this mistake. A lot of people wash the toner out before it's ready. 
leave your toner in for as long as it says. I leave my toner in for about 30, 35 minutes. And a lot of people leave it in for like 15 minutes because they see their hair being purple and they get scared. They're like, oh my God, my hair is going to turn purple. And they wash it out and they're like, this ain't what I wanted. Nothing happened. Because you need to leave it on there. It's not going to turn your hair purple. It's toner. It's doing its job. Leave it in. The purpose of toner is depositing that purple pigment onto your hair to remove that yellow, okay? So if you're not removing the yellow and you're not leaving it on there to remove the yellow, you're not going to get the results that you want, okay? Okay. So you don't want to do that. Also, if you have no experience in dyeing hair, you know nothing about the chemicals, you know nothing about the color wheel, you know nothing about anything, go to a professional because you do not want to mess your hair up. You cannot go back after you completely destroy your hair. And I do not want that for y'all. The first time I got my hair toned, um, I did go to a professional, but I can touch up my toner by myself. It was the whole bleaching my hair situation because I bleached it myself and then it turned pink. So I had to go to a professional to get it done. And now that it's just like upkeep, I can do it myself. I think that I will go back to um, my aunt. She's a professional hairstylist. So I think I'm going to go back to her to get my hair lifted a little bit. And when I say a little bit, I literally mean like 10 volume, just lifting it a little bit more so my hair can be more white. Yeah, so that's that. That really is it. I really hope that I answered you guys' questions. And if you guys have any, and I mean any, questions about my hair about the color about anything that i did not answer in today's video please feel free to comment down below and let me know what questions you guys have i will be sure to answer them and also don't forget to follow me on instagram which will be in the beginning the end and the description box of today's video and don't forget to shop with me with my brand you guys see the hair jewelry that i have in it's all my brand you guys see me in head wraps that's my brand bonnets edge control hair oil all of that Shop with me. It'll be linked in the description box below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.